Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV. I'm talking to Jefferson Bethke, uh, a guy you might remember from a poem online a, a while back that just blew up, went viral. <laughs> He's got a new book called Jesus is Greater Than Religion, and I am glad to have him back. Jefferson. Feels good to be back. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Been uh, a little over a year. You're a married man now. Yeah, but last time I was here, I was a, I was I wasn't single, but I was yeah engaged, engaged. and now I'm married. Yeah, how's yeah. that going? It's good. Yeah, we're coming up on our one year anniversary. It's a blessing. I see. Um, I'm already learning the lesson that, as people say, it's for your holiness, not your happiness. But um, it's a big blessing. I love it. What does that mean? Well, just that like uh, marriage isn't ultimately for your happiness; it's for your holiness in the sense of God uses it to you know sanctify and uh, kind of grow and expose and. Um, but it's been a big blessing. And well, she, she's that amazing. means it's going well because exactly. a lot of people don't figure that out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's true. Just, yeah, that's true. That's true. 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 Mm -hmm. So, uh, tell me a little bit about the book. Yeah, so I'm excited. The book, uh, um, October 7th is release date. Really excited for it. Uh, it's really, it's very. I tried to take a little two-way approach. A lot of books are either heavy theological or heavy narrative. I tried to almost trace my entire narrative, so it's very memoir-driven, memoir-like, where I'm tracing my entire church, Christian, religious experience from birth mm -hmm. all the way to just about uh, one year after college. That's when I wrote it, um, graduated college. But each chapter after the first couple intro chapters have one theological premise that I'm trying to turn on its head on how Jesus is different. So there's one chapter that says something to the effect of, um, you know, religion says that when you're suffering, God hates you or God is upset with you. Um, but Jesus says that suffering sometimes can be a gift of grace and you can get closer to him in it. There's a chapter on money, you know, there's a chapter on um, uh, culture, there's a chapter on church. And so I try to, each chapter is its own little kind of thought on how religion and Jesus are different. And then I use my story uh, to kind of thrust the, the, the narrative. How come you're the uh, anti-religious Christian guy? Yeah. Um, is that just a shtick? I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the hard part with the book. I'm having to deal with that all over again just because, um, so in my context, Seattle, Portland, that, that kind of area, religion is just, it, that word just means bad things. It just means the distortion it means, the character it means, what any Christian would probably say, I disagree with that. And so for me, I'm trying to use it as a rhetorical device and turn it on its head and say, hey, um, I obviously don't disagree with the dictionary definition, institution, you know, all that stuff. I disagree with how society is turning it into, at least in my context. Obviously, South is probably different, East is different. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm definitely not talking about institution. I love the church, love the body. Um, but I'm trying to just use it because I think we can get a little numb to words. And so it's almost a little bit of a shock value to kind of just kind of get them out of their zone and say, hey, let me think yeah. about that differently. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing outside of writing? Are you pastoring? Or no, no. Stuff? So I, I, I help out a little bit at a college ministry in town called For the King, um, which I think I chatted about last time I was here. Uh, that uh, I'm taking this fall off because of the book, but I'm still there and attending. Um, and I also write, I do a lot of creative videos still, I try to do a new video every week. And then the thing that probably takes up most of my time is I'm a co-founder now of a candle company. I never would have thought at 24 a years candle old. Candle company? What I, yeah, a candle company. Very progressive. I know, I never would have thought I'd be 24 year old <laughs> male owning a candle company. But it, it's, um, it's a social entrepreneur uh, startup where we want to use the domain of business to help the world. And so what we do is we have nine different uh, cents, nine different lines we call them. Um, and each one is a different uh, element of injustice. So we have, uh, Earth, we have clean water, we have trafficking, we have child soldiers, whatever. Okay. And each each one of those elements has its own label and scent in that element. And then when you buy that candle, it gives a tangible outcome in that in that giving uh, gotcha. outcome. So if you buy the the child soldier candle, then you're give, you're paying for one uh, session of counseling and clean water is giving water for a day, stuff like that. And it's just our kind of way of saying, hey, we believe that the kingdom. Um, the kingdom ethic and economic is that every domain is God's and we might as well redeem it and bring the kingdom to bear yeah. in it. And so that, that's our yeah. way of doing that. I actually know a guy that's doing that with gum. Really? Is Have it seven? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, so, yeah, so I heard of that. Yep. There's gum, there's a t-shirt company called Sevenly that does very similar things with t-shirts. Yep. So I think that is where our culture, my generation's going with business. Yeah, that's um, kind of cool. Kinda, they call it business for good, you know, um, just because we were so grew up with just the CEO, like greedy, you know, like I'm gonna make all the money and exploit everyone else. Right. So I think we're pushing against that a little bit. Um, but it's exciting and it's going well. Clarocandles.com, they can check it out, it's good. Say it again. Clarocandles.com, so C-L-A-R-O, it means bring light in Latin. Wow, very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're getting in touch with your feminine side. With I'm trying. I know. Who would have thought? You know, 24 year old, uh, you know, college athlete owns a candle company. <laughs> no, yeah. nice, nice, nice. What else is in the store for you? Um, I'm not totally sure. So I have. Uh, I, I kind of want to keep doing what I'm doing. I love doing that with Claro. I love writing. I love doing YouTube. 
Uh, me and Alyssa, it's my wife, we have dreams to write a book together. I have, uh, in the contract, was a second book, so I have to do, turn that in next year for sure. So that probably is what's next on the how, docket. How'd you enjoy the process there? Who you, who's your publisher? Uh, Thomas Nelson. Yeah, yeah. So I loved it. I loved it. It's, um, few things are, the one, the most difficult thing about it is that I'm very ADHD, like right now, you know, and books are not that way. You know, I finished the book that comes out, you know, in October, I finished that in January. So almost, you know, eight, nine yeah. months uh, yeah. and I just haven't touched it. It's just, yeah. the, you know, marketing and publicity and getting into the stores. And right. so that process is so long for me. Yes, I'm like, man, I'm, I, I, I clicked done on, on the keyboard, you know, put it out there, right. but right. it's just not the way it works. No, the fun part is when you, now you do an interview like a year after you finished it, yeah. and someone goes, tell me what you meant in chapter yeah. four when you say <laughs> yep. this. Yeah, and, and, you go, it, yeah. and no one understands that unless you've really written or in that culture. Because right, right. I'm already experiencing that. I'm like, I don't know what I said there. <laughs> yeah, right, or, right. or just kind of my heartbeat of where God's taking me is somewhere else now. Somewhere else, yeah. So you're that's always kind of, yeah, project. it's kind of awkward. Yeah, and so kind of fun. you have to kind of almost refresh your memory of your own book. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, the videos, you're doing a video every week? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I'm trying to get away from poetry, actually, which a lot of people don't know. I, I loved it. I think it was uh, God used it for a time and a season. But I really, my heart's to teach. I just really love the scriptures. I love the context. I love trying to just bring biblical literacy to my generation. And so every Thursday, I put out a new video. Um, sometimes it's creative, spoken word, highly produced. A lot of times it's me sitting in a chair like this, um, trying to keep it under five minutes. And I try to kind of have, try to have people see the Bible differently. So I've done series called you know, most interpreted verses in the Bible. I've done a series on what it means. Most interpreted, most misinterpreted. Most misinterpreted, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, I've done series on the book of Genesis. And so, yeah, it's really almost a really short kind of nugget, per se, three to five minute video Very that cool. hopefully can engage people. Is that catching on pretty well? I mean, yeah, it's doing yeah. well. I started it in May, and it's not obviously going viral. You know, it doesn't have the viral capacity, right, right, but right. I think uh, since May, the videos added up are over 500,000 views. So, nice. we're, no, so it's, yeah. it's pushing and it's working. Yeah, real cool, mm -hmm. real cool. They can check it out through. Yeah, youtube.com slash bball1989. Oh, I know that's kind of weird. You got that link from your website? Uh, yeah, you can go to jeffbethke.com oh, and yeah, it's on there as well. There. Yeah, okay. yeah, cause my, my YouTube username is, I don't know if anyone watching here, but uh, it was my AIM screen name back in Instant Messenger. Nice. You know, so I just had to keep it. Nice. But uh, yeah, jeffbethke.com, I'll show them yep. all that. Yep, do check it out, jeffbethke.com. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know a little bit about more of his, like he talked about growing up and a little bit more about the book, uh, that's at lifetoday.org when he's on our broadcast show. So, man, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see Glad you Glad things are going well. Yeah. I love the creativity and the energy. Appreciate it. And uh, check him out. Yeah.